The 1 in 3 Jags host the winless Texans, but Houston gets lucky early as Davis Mills launches a 50 50 ball to Emmanuel Sanders and he makes the catch off the tip. Then the drive is capped off with a short pass to the star wideout Brandon Cooks for the tutty. Trevor Lawrence uses both his legs and his arm to move the Jags downfield, and he ends up with a short touchdown pass to Marvin Jones Jr. Then the Texans end up taking the lead with a field goal on the next drive thanks to this bomb from Davis Mills to Brandon Cooks. Before halftime, however, Lawrence and Marvin Jones Jr. are able to continue the chemistry and get on the board to take a 14-10 lead. In the second half, Trevor Lawrence lets one go and it drops right into the breadbasket of Christian Kirk who gets it away and showboats into the end zone. Jags extend their lead to two scores. But then, Kareem Hunt, yes, he's a Texan now, runs Houston into field goal territory to get them within a score. Late in the fourth quarter, Lawrence is scrambling left when he's hit and he fumbles. Ooh. The Texans recover. And after that, Brandon Cooks finds the end zone on a Davis Mills pass followed by the two-point conversion to Emmanuel Sanders, and we're all tied up at 21. That's terrible. After a very solid kickoff return from Jamal Agnew, one of the best in the business, Trevor Lawrence and Evan Ingram went to work with a couple of connections, leading to a Ryan Santoso chip shot game winner. Jags win it 24-21. Trevor Lawrence comes away with three touchdown passes in the win. After the game, we see that Caleb on chase on is joining the list of injuries at linebacker. Wonderful. Ah, uh, horse shit! The Jags then travel to Indy for battle number two with the 4-1 Colts. The T. Lana Evan Ingram connection continues with a first drive touchdown, answering a previous Colts field goal to give the Jags the first quarter lead. Bobby Okariki then gets the best of Lawrence for the second straight matchup, and it leads to Matt Ryan finding Paris Campbell, who makes a terrific run after the grab to help Indy regain the lead. Colts driving, but Matt Ryan is picked off by Andre Sisco, who could go all the way, and he does for a pick six. But the Colts to cap off this drive at the end of the half with a score from Matt Ryan to Michael Pittman Jr. Kiki Cutie grabs a pass from Matt Ryan, and he dives into the end zone to extend the Colt lead. Then before the two minute warning, Jags down seven, Lawrence launches to LaVisca Chenault, but it's tipped and it's intercepted. No way! And the Colts play keep away to defend their house with a 24-17 victory. Evan Ingram at 87 yards and a touchdown in the loss. The NFL season's about to start. Are you ready? You need to get over to NFLshop.com right now using the link in the description and go get yourself some fan gear. After the game, the decision was made to have Travis Etienne be the new star in the Jaguar backfield. And with this being the final year on James Robinson contract, he was shopped for a trade. And the Lions were willing to give up Amon Ra, St. Brown, and some deaf pieces as well. Tommy Kramer, who came over in the trade, was then released. And to replace Robinson at running back, we signed Jamal Williams, who the Lions had cut. Dumb, right? Hey, why do you do this? You are so stupid! 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 Then we had too many on roster, and we knew that Laquan Treadwell at wide receiver and strong safety Andrew Wingard just weren't going to be in our long-term plans. The Rams sent over strong safety Terrell Burgess, who can be a really nice building block on defense, and right tackle Ankrum, who would later be cut. The 2-4 and four Jaguars are back home to host the 1-5 and five Giants, who somehow have Sam Darnold, and they have him playing like an MVP caliber quarterback. He was certainly playing like a Jaguar MVP as he served Serves up a pick to Ray Sean Jenkins that goes all the way back to the house for the game's first touchdown. The next drive, he threw one right to Andre Sisco that put the Jags in a great position. However, T-Law returned the favor with a pick to Blake Martinez, who kneels at the one. What the hell is that? Saquon Barkley then can't get out of the end zone, and the Jags lead 9-0 with that safety. Trevor Lawrence scrambles and sneaks into the corner of the end zone to extend the lead. But in the second half, he throws a red zone interception Ooh. that just hurts. Yeah! 
Giants fail after the gift pick as Darnold throws an arm punt over to Shaquille Griffin. And after that, Amon Ra St. Brown finishes the drive with his first touchdown catch in a Jaguars uni. On the next drive, the Darnold Bakery opens again with a pick by Darius Williams, his second of the game, that leads to Amon Ra getting touchdown number two as the Jags roll at home 33-3. Amon Ra St. Brown with seven receptions, 66 yards, and two touchdowns in his Jaguar day. Christian Kirk and Tyson Campbell then join the injury report as we've been a very banged up team all season long. Mock draft number two is out, and we're still projected to draft that wide receiver, Sidney Ballmer, who looks like a pretty nice deep threat, but I doubt we're going to be looking to draft a wideout this offseason with Christian Kirk, LaVisca Chenault, and Amon Ross St. Brown as our top projected three receivers next year. 6-1 Broncos are in town, and Evan Ingram makes a sweet grab from Trevor Lawrence, but it's all for naught as T-Law throws this pick on the very next play. Then, Russ went cooking with a beautiful play fake and a toss to tight end Eric Seibert, and then a toss out to Melvin Gordon, who does the rest to give Denver a halftime lead. The second half kickoff is then taken by Jamal Agnew across the 20 as he makes a tough stiff arm to spring free past the 40, and he is off to the the races to get the Jaguars on the board for once. Down 10 points, Trevor Lawrence under pressure. He gets it away, but it's cut off and intercepted by Pat Sertan the second, and Denver capitalizes with a nice sideline throw to Cortland Sutton, who walks into the end zone to extend the lead again. Travis Etienne then sneaks into the end zone. Melvin Gordon is able to answer, and it is a 17-point game late when this throw from Lawrence draws an interference and allows a garbage time touchdown to Amon Ra St. Brown, his third in two games. But it still amounts to a 31-21 win for the Broncos as they go to 7-1. Russell Wilson with three touchdowns in the game. Monday morning, right tackle Jawan Taylor signs a two-year extension through 2024 for a total of $8.8 .8 million. And more good news for the Jaguars is that the injury report is seeming smaller by the week. The 3-5 and five Jaguars have some tough challenges coming up as they host the Raiders and they visit the Chiefs into the bye week before hosting the Ravens and then visiting the Lions, whom, of course, we just traded with. So James Robinson, Amon Ra, St. Brown, and Jamal Williams will all face their former teams as key players in this matchup. With this tough stretch, can we put ourselves in position to not only meet our four-game win goal, but also possibly be in the hunt for a playoff spot? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you to all of our channel members and special thanks to tclink24 for being the only franchise quarterback. Here's some more episodes for you to check out on the screen now and I'll see you guys next time.